It may be known as the gentleman's game, but what's happening in Bangladesh media may upset several cricket fans. Pokey fun at India's series defeat at the hands of Bangladesh, a leading newspaper of the country produced an advertisement of a cutter in which Indian cricketers are seen standing with their heads half shaven. The advertisement is obviously in bad taste as it insults Team India, which lost a three-match series 1-2 to Bangladesh. The photograph has emerged in a leading newspaper called Pratham Olo. Young Bangladeshi bowler Mustafizur Rahman, who caused a trouble to Indian batsmen on the field, is shown endorsing a cutter symbolizing his off cutters and the Indian players are holding a banner which reads, we have used it, you can use it too. Shivani is now joining us so with more details. Shivani, what's happening in Bangladesh? There was first this uh, parody on Mocha Mocha, also aimed at Team India. Then there was an attack on an Indian fan in Bangladesh and now this. Absolutely, Maha, uh, you know, clearly there's an increase in animosity as far as uh, cricket fans uh, between India and Bangladesh are concerned. And it seems the Bangladesh uh, media and fans are leading that animosity. And it all started, if I can take you back to the World Cup, uh, you know, of course, India and pa Bangladesh played the quarterfinals in the World Cup and the loss was not well taken. There were decisions that the Bangladesh team were not happy about. And then there was the entire incident uh, with Mustafa Kamal, who was the ICC president at the time and his uh, you know a war of words and tussle with N. Srinivasan the ICC chairman you know he claimed that uh, N. Srinivasan uh, took away his right to present the World Cup trophy you know all of that Mustafa Kaval also being a prominent politician back in uh, Bangladesh created a huge you know uproar in Bangladesh then obviously these two teams were to meet in this bilateral series you mentioned the Mocha Mocha parody while all of that can still be taken you know uh, as a uh, uh, as okay. humor mm -hmm. but I think now this ad uh, especially has gone a tad too far because yes. it's becoming uh, leaving a bad taste in your mouth using uh, uh, Indian players pictures and you know showing them half shave and this is ke definitely not in good taste let's also go across now to consulting editor Borya Majumdar Borya sports is supposed to create friendship between even rival countries but here we are seeing just the opposite happening this is disgusting. This is absolutely disgusting. I mean, you cannot just allow this. Mustafa Kamal, I was hearing Shivani say, and she's absolutely right. Mustafa Kamal, in his position as minister, should now step in. He came to Calcutta to cement ties with India. He extended a hand of friendship to Jagbon Dalmia, who in turn sent a letter and a gift to Mustafa Kamal through Bisharub Bey, the administrative manager, during the Bangladesh tour. This was an attempt to bridge, uh, you know, or sort of bridge the bond. But the, the rift that had been created between Srinivasan and Mustafa Kamal. So India and Bangladesh were playing this as a kind of a friendship series. And in the middle of all of this, suddenly you see this act. I mean, in sport, obviously one team will win and one will lose. Now, India has beaten Bangladesh for the last 15 years. Have we the, put out ads like this? Or should our government allow this? It is easy. I mean, the BCCI should speak to the Bangladesh Cricket Board and say you take it down. And the Bangladesh Cricket Board should in turn sue this company. You cannot let your players be defamed or shamed for commercial reasons by a stupid company. This ad is in poor taste and it should be immediately taken down. BCCI should instruct or request the Bangladesh board that this is absolutely unacceptable. Let me go back to Shivani. Shivani, is there an attempt to at least try and understand what's happening and as Borya is pointing out there to send a message across that this advertisement is in poor taste and must be taken down? Well, as Borya said, you know, uh, uh, the newspaper itself and the Bangladesh Cricket Board must step in now. I mean, they have to tell this newspaper that even if it, it's in the humor column, the humor section of the paper, this is just not done. You cannot, you know, deface Indian players and, you know, uh, mock their pictures like this. Uh, you want to celebrate Mustafizur Rahman. By all means, he has been celebrated in India as well. You know, everyone in India has heaped praise on the bowler. And that's what sport is about, to appreciate good performances uh, I think the BCCI will uh, take notice of this as Borea has mentioned you know Mr. Dalmia had spoken exclusively to India today and said we want good ties with all countries especially our subcontinent neighbors and I think they sh must put their uh, foot down and express their displeasure at this ad because this is not just about you know mocking about a win or a loss you're defacing Indian players and uh, you know they, this cannot be allowed this is the Indian team players that represent India internationally and there is absolutely no 
no need for this you know it's absolutely needless you can uh, pr praise mustafa zur rahman uh, you can even mock in team team india for its failure in the series but to deface their pictures like this and to to make a very crass point is absolutely not required why not celebrate good performances then you know then come down this hard it's you know it's it's a trend we are seeing absolutely. in bangladesh mm -hmm. because it's a new found confidence that the team yes. has found and we've seen even on the field uh, this confidence spilling into the category or the territory of brashness hmm. now that is something that the bangladesh team and the country must be very careful about all right boria uh, can you shed some more light on that uh, very important point being made by shivani there that uh, a resurgent team that uh, bangladesh is at the moment should be celebrated uh, do you think that there is tacit uh, support from the cricket association in bangladesh uh, for this sort of behavior as far as the team is concerned aggression is supported for sure because you know for the longest time from 2000 onwards when the team got test status the team has not done very well and if you have followed bangladesh cricket at every press conference the reporters used to ask the the captain whoever the captain was will a good time ever come for the team now it has so yes aggression is supported by the cricket board but aggression cannot be as shivani said and she's right aggression has to be contained aggression has to be sustained in the field of play in a certain manner you cannot overstep this is overstepping if it turns to brashness believe you me bangladesh has not won a world cup they have won a bilateral series against india to one they've still been beaten by india in the world cup the fact of the matter is bangladesh is not one of the top teams in the world at this point in time so come on you cannot just overstep and say you know we we will do whatever we want this is sport this has to be played in the spirit of sport the word spirit the word gentlemanliness associated with cricket will have to be taken into account by the bangladesh cricket board you know this one is very simple the bangladesh cricket board has to take notice of this act instruct the newspaper and this company to take it down right at this point in time it's a two minute job and mustafa kamal being the being the minister and one of the closest to sheikh hasina at this point in time bangladesh can do this job one telephone call from dalmia one telephone call from anurag thakur and this will be done i am waiting for the bcci to do that hmm. shivani have we ever seen this kind of a rivalry coming out uh, in the open between two teams in such a manner ever in the game of cricket well i don't think we, we can even call this rivalry this is not uh, what rivalry is about rivalry is what india and pakistan have rivalry is what australia and england have what australia and new zealand have and none of those rivalry rivalries have spilled so poorly i mean this is not a fan posting an ugly comment on a website you know this is not a twitter uh, uh, rant this is a newspaper publishing an ad in a humor section which completely crosses the line and you know this has nothing to do with sport and this has nothing to do with the on field rivalry uh, so as to speak uh, uh, this is just a poor attempt at you know uh, drilling in the the fact that oh we won the series we beat uh, india at home and frankly that has been celebrated and talked about as much in india as in bangladesh uh, you know everybody likes the underdog story everybody likes to see a team that does well and young p talent uh, shining which was the case for bangladesh in the series but this has nothing to do with that and you know uh, I don't think we should even call it rivalry. This is just poor taste. Uh, this is not what rivalries are about, and this is not how a great rivalry is built. I mean, if we want examples, we have examples between India and Pakistan. Even that okay. hasn't spilled so mm -hmm. poorly by a newspaper. Of course, there are jibes taken by fans and uh, uh, you know by even you okay. know publications. But yes. this is going a little bit too far. All right, Manogia is also now joining us with more details from Kolkata. Manogia, has there been any response from uh, say somebody like Jagmohan Dalmia or? any other uh, cricketer so to speak on this issue well we did attempt to, to speak to jagmohan dalmia but his phone was switched off and we have also left a message on to respond to it we expect on what he says being the bcci president it would be important to hear on what the indian cricket All people right, Panukia, the who in the indian cricket for think a bit. about chetan chauhan is joining us on the phone line now sir uh, this ad uh, which most of us are saying is in poor taste how would you uh, what's your first reaction to it when you see this advertisement well i will only say that uh, you know this is not done this is not cricket uh yes i agree that you know they have beaten uh, an, a very strong uh, uh, team a full indian team who have been the world cup uh, winners and also who reached the semi final this year uh, but still you know uh, cricket has to be taken as a sport and uh, sometimes you win and sometimes you do lose i do agree that they are very happy and uh, they are uh, reveling the whole thing 
but said you know you cannot uh, think do things like this mm. uh, i can only regret and only say, uh, feel sorry about this uh, also i think that's not the right mentality um, of the people of bangladesh of these uh, uh the press people mr john how how do you feel sir uh, that uh, a board uh, should be reining in not just its players when they show aggressive behavior on field but also otherwise uh, the way things are projected with regards to cricket in their country what is the best manner in of doing things well see this is not the best way of going about as i said you know cricket is a gentleman's game sometimes one wins sometimes one loses um and uh, the decorum has to be maintained dignity mm-hmm. has to be maintained of the game, of the game uh, not only by the players by the respective cricket control board but also by the media and uh, i think it's absolutely wrong you know to show people show the indian team uh, having you know shaved off everything and okay. uh, you know being shown as bald you yes. know that the bangladesh team has done such and such thing well it's in very poor taste i mm. would say and uh, i think it's about time that the bangladesh cricket board also interferes and uh, stops this uh, you know nonsense well certainly about time for them uh, to intervene and get that ad pulled off many thanks chetan chauhan for speaking with india today thanks also to shivani borya and manokya